you need to assign some stuff. Since Force 1 is human, we have to stay human. But since we're going up against a Zerg computer player, we have to change it to computer. Um, everything else you want to switch to neutral. This tells the computer to not register these guys unless they appear in the field. Hit OK. Damn it, here they come. Alright, what should we do next? I suppose we should teach you about the location layers now. Yeah, I'll be right back. Yeah, I'll be right back. Oh, all right. Sorry for the delay. It might be like a little weird stuff. I kind of lost my place a little bit. But I'm assuming I just showed you. But if I remember, because I went to a. Uh, I started out everything with my brother's friends, just to make sure they don't do anything stupid. Um, I have a bad time to record this, should have done this earlier when I had the chance. Um, I showed you how to do the player, uh, how to assign players and everything, so I showed you forces and stuff. Here we, comes my brother's friend. Alright, so, we want to get to... Now the next section that I showed you is sounds. We're going to import some sounds. We'll import some sounds for this game. It's always nice to have some things. It makes the game a little bit unique. We're going to add some classic StarCraft stuff. The Com Beep 1. The Com Beep 0. And the Com Beep 1. Do we have that? Here's what they are. Everyone loves those sounds. Actually, no, because usually when you see them, that means you lost the game or you got another objective. Now, we're on triggers. What do we want? We want to, now, what do we want for triggers? We want to create a beginning scene. We're going to create a small beginning scene when the game starts. So, what you want to do... So, with, so I'll show you how to create the scene... I'll show you how to get the triggers for the, what we want for this map down. After that, we're going to do... After that, I'm going to go into a vivid explanation of each triggers, because I'm pretty sure you'll catch on to this, catch on to how to work them after I'm done. So, we're going to hit player one. We're going to create an opening scene. We're going to hit next. We're going to hit always. Always is a command that's... is a condition that specifies that this event happens right away. We're going to hit new. We're going to create a talking portrait of a marine. And we're going to use the portrait of a marine. A talking portrait means that when you have somewhere in the lower, somewhere around here, when you're moving troops, you'll see a portrait of a unit. That's a talking portrait. It means. And talking portrait means it'll also be talking, so you can use it to make conversation. It'll be talking for about 10 seconds. Everything is measured in milliseconds. So for each second, you need a thousand seconds. All right, we're gonna make him say some stuff. Text, marine. One thing when you're when you're putting up attack when you're putting up a text, if you hit always display, if you hit always display, that means that the text displays no matter what happens. 
If that's off, that means the text will only display when subtitles are available. Now we're gonna wait. Now we're gonna do a wait command. This pauses the game. This will pause the, this trigger for 11 seconds. This is helpful because this will allow the talking to get out of the way. We're also gonna pause the game. We're also gonna pause the game at the top. This means that the game will freeze and not do anything until this commit until an unpaused game trigger has been specified. Um, after that, after that 11 seconds, after that 11 seconds, we'll begin, we'll hit an unpause game, we'll hit, use the unpause game command, we'll use a play wave command, we'll use the traditional sound bite, and we'll just put another, and we'll put another text that shows the new objectives. Copy this because we're going to show you another thing. Because I'm going to put another thing. Then we're going to hit set mission objectives. What this, what that, what that trigger does is pretty much when you pause the game and you'll see the mission objective screen. That'll be the text that displays. So which means what we have. So set mission objectives. That means when you pause the game, but hit menu, and you look at the objectives, you'll see your objectives. So, we have that saved. Okay. That's the basic trick. Now we're going to teach you, now we're going to teach you how to use some location commands. How to set up, how to properly set locations. How to how to use the, a basic understanding of the location trip. Well, so we're changing the layer from unit layer to location layer. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to draft. We want the I want the location in a place where we will find these marine, where we can find those guys we're going to rescue, the hero. We're going to have the location right at this brand because that's where we're going to have our third army. Our rescue of our forces. We'll name this location rescue. So if we're assigning another group, we need a start location. You should always remember that when you assign an army into the game, you need a start location. Otherwise, the, the game will, will continually tell you that you need a start location and will not... Otherwise, the, epi the map editor will give you an error and say you cannot set this, and it will not continue to do so until a start location is specified. So to avoid hassles and headaches, just set a start location right away. Luckily, the game will tell you what army doesn't have a map edit, doesn't have a start location. That will make it easier for you to identify. Okay. We're going to put a hero. Make it an Alan Switchable guy, but don't worry, he won't be called that sooner or later. We'll put some Teal Marines. Now we wanted to create, now that we have those, we want to create a small cutscene that ensures after we see them. So what happens is we're going to use player one since we're since we're si since we are player one. This player with this trigger execute. We have to use player one. Hit next. We're going to go to new. And now we'll scroll down to the bring command. Player one has to bring his quality of at least one men to that location. To location rescue. Okay. Now, what's going to happen is we're going to have the game pause. We're going to have a pa the game's going to pause. So we create a pause game. And we're going to create a marine talking. 